It is time, viewers. It is time to get my healer up to max level and more. Let's play Crystal Warriors! On this battle here, th we're just gonna start running into some magic users, so they're gonna start mixing it up a little bit more. We got some water elemental guys here, so we're gonna have to deal with those. Fortunately, we got a nice little bridge right here to deal with all the other guys. So they're pretty much gonna bottleneck there. I was telling you about how uh, water elemental characters can go through water more easily. Well, this water, though, you can't go through, period, because it's just too far down or too deep or whatever the excuse is. I don't know. But, yeah, we can't pass through it. They can't pass through it. They're going to bottleneck. I mean, some may try to go around the left side there, but probably not. Usually they don't. Maybe one might go over there, but anyway, ooh, there's another enemy. Okay, so the two enemies I revealed with my scans there are Pyro and Nadar. Pyro is a mage, just like mine, and Nadar is a healer, just like mine. Except it's not at max level, so it's not going to be as obscene. Let's see what we got here with Pyro. Ironically, does not have a fire spell. It's just a lightning spell. So, oh yeah, and they don't BS you with their MP. They just say, you know what, screw it. They have unlimited MP. You're not going to drain all of it. So, screw you, player. And, let's see, Nadar has heal and dark. The thing with the dark spell is, well, just like any other RPG, it's going to blind you and make your physical attacks do basically nothing. Let's see, let's put you over there. So yeah, but fortunately, the dark spell only lasts for uh, the remainder of the encounter, and then it heals itself automatically. But it is very effective, so if they do that in the first round, you're not going to be able to hit them. Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to put my mage down there or not, because, let's see, he could hit with a bolt spell. Hmm. How much HP do you got? You know what? You've got enough HP. Even if he does hit you, you should be good. Okay, so let's send the healer this way. Take out one of those guys. I only need to kill seven monsters with my healer in order to get up to max level. So that should make life a lot easier. Let's put you there. And let's see. Let's put you right there so you're just in range of whoever gets bottlenecked right there. And that's pretty much going to be the strategy for a lot of Crystal Warriors, where you're going to try and take advantage of the terrain, try to get them to bottleneck, try to block their path. You know what? I want uh, Rat to kill this guy, because he could use a monster, especially if he gets attacked by a fire guy, like he does a lot. Nuts. What? I can actually hit? That's never happened to me before. Usually a dark spell, when they get that on me, I can't hit for anything. It's like almost guaranteed. But, uh, apparently I was wrong. Okay, so, let's see. Let's get you... You know what? Let's wait a moment on that. Well, let's see what we're dealing with here first. Hmm. I do want to take that guy out. Remember, healers cannot heal themselves. So you can just go all out. Now, even though this guy is a mage, he's not going to counterattack because he doesn't have any attack magic. If you tried to attack Pyro with a spell, he would counterattack. So you want to watch out for that. Another thing you could do with the dark spell, if you have a monster, send that guy out and he won't be afflicted with it. So, you know what? Let's give a little demonstration of that, shall we? Ooh, nice. I'm not doing too bad against this guy. Although, I do want my healer to kill him, ironically. Uh, let's go with the Wisp, then. Yeah, as though I have a choice. So, yeah, you see, even though I got hit with Dark, I can still go all out, and he's going to keep on trying. I don't think Dark will affect your monster long-term. 
So if you if your monster gets hit with dark, say in the first round. Oh, she's already at full. Oh, well, whatever. But yeah, if your monster gets hit with dark in the first round and then it goes away and then you summon it again in the next round, I think it won't be affected by dark again, if I recall correctly. I don't really use monsters that much, especially against mages because they're earth elemental. So I don't have that much experience in that particular area, but hopefully the monster won't try to go, or the humanoid unit won't try going around to the left there. And they'll just all keep on trying to bottleneck there. That would be nice. So yeah, healers get all the kinds of debuffs, like dark and, uh, not silence, they call it something else. I mentioned it in the last episode, I just forget the name of it. Ah, whatever. Okay, so now I want to get my water elemental lady out of there, because, well, the mage there can use flash, and she would be weak to it, so I want to try and minimize the damage as much as possible. Let's see, we got fire there. I don't have an ice spell yet, so for now, let's just go with fire! So yeah, part of the reason why I went with the fire spell before getting the heal spell for Iris was because, well, as you saw, we couldn't buy the fire spell in the next town, whereas the heal spell was available. Um, no, no, let's get out of there. I don't want, uh, Iris taking more damage than she has to. We'll get someone else in there. So, actually, why don't you get a start on that guy? Because, well, you're Fire Elemental, so we're gonna be strong against his Flash spell. If he can hit us at all with it. I can deal reasonable damage to this guy. I may decide to uh, do some stuff there. Uh, yeah, have Iris attack. And yeah, maybe I should have done that before. Oh, whatever. Okay, one little hit, run away. Just keep on hitting and running like that. Let's go with a good fire spell. Now, I'm doing this partially to weaken him, but also to demonstrate how mages can counterattack. Yeah, you see he's gonna retaliate now with his own spell, but it's only a one-round deal. So, once you do that, yeah, it's not gonna be like a two-round affair like well, most battles in the game. Now, what I want to do next is I want to get Iris out of harm's way there. Well, I can't do that now, but eventually. I want to get her out of there so that way... We, my melee fighters, can take care of these guys while Iris is actually focusing on the healing. Unfortunately, she can't heal herself, but that's okay. So yeah, uh, run. Oh, right. Can I scan anything? Yes, I can. Awesome. Why the enemies don't realize that they can just go around the left, they're... I don't know, but they're not doing that, so I'm taking advantage of it. Maybe they just figure this is a shorter route or something. Maybe they're just suicidal and they just want to line up single file! Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, sorry if my stats or my gold or whatever is slightly different than it was when I ended the last episode because immediately after finishing the recording I accidentally just quit without saving so my save file that when you saw me save on screen that got lost so yeah there's not a whole lot I could do about that so oh well might as well scan I can't actually damage you from afar. But I like how, even though this is just a relatively simple game, they really make terrain a, a big factor of the strategy of the game. Unfortunately, we have not ran into any wind elemental enemies, so yeah, he's not going to be too useful. He does have pretty good HP, though, and defense, for that matter. Yeah, when you can just blockade them like this, it just makes it so much easier to 
avoid them ganging up on me like that. If I could have, I would have liked to try and uh, block them on the other side of the bridge, but, well, I couldn't make it that fast enough. So, And as far as I know, I don't think there's any way you can increase your movement in the game. There's no, like, equipment or spells or, or anything like that. So what you see is what you got. You never gain movement from levels or anything like that. Let's see, anyone needs some healing? Besides Iris, that is. No, well, I think we're in pretty good shape. So just keep on lining up. Single file! Now let's put our monster to use. Yeah, you see, normally wind would be strong against me, but since I have a fire monster, I'm going to be strong against her instead. Unfortunately, she did get the first attack because she attacked me, but well, we deal some pretty good damage, even though I'm actually weak to her. Move you out of the way there. Let's get a good fire spell there. That ought to bring you down to single digits. I forget if spells can crit. I think they can. But, like, regular crits, not very often. I forget, though. And that ought to be good. Ooh, thanks for uh, lining up and just attacking the one I wanted you to. Well, at least I have an idea of how much damage I can deal to you now. Okay. Good fire spell ought to do. I just love the mages in this game. You just block the enemies and then nuke them from the other side of the battlefield. Well, okay, it's not as obscene as, say, Dizgaia, but still pretty good. Got him. Now watch this. Max level. Look at that HP increase! Attack power, defense, holy cow! <laughs> oh man, he's just gonna be obscene now. Let's take a look at the stats that I got there for him now. So, yeah, he's got like 85 attack power. By comparison, let's take a look at Iris there. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, when you get healers up to max level, they just get a massive stat boost for putting up with them being incompetent for most of the game. So, yeah, it is really nice. Um, sure, why not? Sounds like a good idea. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, we'll find out when we get there. I think they're referring to monsters, if I recall correctly. Oh, really? Huh. Well, we better get them back. There are going to be boss fights eventually in the game. It's not just going to be these battles where we're fighting against random humanoid units or whatever. I mean, they will get tougher. But now that I have a max level healer, it doesn't really matter. So, but yeah, uh... Yeah, mages, healers, can't tame monsters. Now, we could buy some more stuff here, but I actually want to save the rest of my money for the next town, because there's going to be a couple characters there that I want to recruit, and if you don't recruit them then, you can never get them later. So, I'm just going to hold off on other things. Like, I could get Drain for Iris, which is actually not that bad. It drains 25% of the target's max HP. So I mean, that is pretty good. It gives her a way of actually healing herself. Uh, it's also a spell that Murak could use, a mage spell. I don't really care about the dark spell, because really, healers, if they're ever in physical combat now, once they're at max level, you're never going to take much damage anyway. So, I'm not really worried about that. But who will join our cause against the Jin Empire in the next town? Find out next time on Let's Play Crystal Warriors! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.